In this tutorial I want to show you how easy it is to create a panel in the Darkfish EasyTag. Now there's two levels of difficulty I suppose. One is considering using EasyTag purely on its own. So if you just want to go to a game, tag what happens, feed that information back during the match and not really use that data again. That's one level of simplicity. Where it gets slightly more complicated is if you want to use the EasyTag in conjunction with your Darkfish software. And I'll be very clear on the distinction between the two levels of difficulty and what you need to do for each one. So in order to create a panel, you start your EasyTag application and you click Panels at the bottom right. These are the list of panels that I already have created. We're going to start from scratch. So we're going to create a new panel in this top right. We click the plus and you'll see then we get the various layouts that we have. Okay, so to keep this simple, we might create a 5x2 layout and we're going to name it and we're going to create a soccer panel. But obviously you can create one for whatever sport it is that you need and we'll click save. Once you click save, you're immediately taken to the editor window and it really couldn't be any easier. You simply just click the button you want to edit, so in this case we'll start with number one and you're brought to the various parameters that you have and you can decide on what you want to do here. Now, if you're looking at just designing a tagging panel for use on the side of the pitch and you don't need to integrate EasyTag with Dartfish at a later stage, I think there's really only two things that you really need to consider changing. So one is the label. So if we click on that, we're taken to a text box field and this is simply the information that you see on the button when you press it. So we'll remove the one and we're going to call this shot on T for shot on target and I'm going to click save. So there's my shot on target and the only other thing I think you need to consider changing is the color. So at the moment it's on auto so we're going to just switch that off and we're going to make the color whatever we desire and you do that by moving these three little buttons whichever way you want and you'll see then in the button pane the color changes. So we might want to make this yellow and click save. So once I return to my soccer panel, you'll see now I have a button called Shot on T and it's the colour yellow. So to do that again, we're going to change maybe the right hand side here. So we'll click button 2 and we're going to change it to Shot off T. We'll save and we'll make the colour, let's turn that off and we'll make it red in this case and we can click save. And then once I return to my panel, you'll see now I have two buttons, one for shot on target and one for shot off target. This button here shows statistics. You can toggle that on or off. Simply what that gives you is it will show you the number of times that event has occurred on the button or not. So if it's on, the number of times that button has been pressed will show up and if you turn it off, you'll simply be tagging to review the information at a later stage. I think the power of EasyTag is using the information live at the time, so I would always tend to leave it on. So that's my panel done. You can obviously repeat that for each and every button that you have. And just to maybe show you what a soccer one would look like finished, it's a slightly larger panel of an 8x2. But you'll see very clearly that I've listed all the events down this side, and in blue they represent my team, and in red they represent the opposition team. So very simple to create a standalone tagging panel for any sport or any application to use as a standalone device. If you want to then import it into Dartfish, that will be covered in the next tutorial and some of the additional settings you'll need to make.